S&P 500 inclusion for Tesla stock is so close, so close, but, 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 but why, why is it so relevant? All about that here in this vlog. So understanding the S&P 500 that is in the end an index, an index that is there for many, many other companies out there as well and especially the S&P 500 is managed by Standard & Poor which is a company by Amec uh, Gru Hill Financial and if you are thinking about this index you have to think about like a basket think about like a basket and uh, you know a basket of 500 great great apples all right and there is a team around this basket and they are looking for great apples to add to the basket sometimes they feel some apples are getting too heavy uh, so so too bad too old too you know not that fresh anymore so they are throwing some of them out you know usually two three five stocks and uh, getting new ones in so the basket uh, always keep on being fresh and nicely done. So exactly this is the S&P 500 and usually what is happening when new stocks are getting into the basket then index funds, so hedge funds, need to buy those stocks because usually some people in the hedge fund business trying to be you know heavily into this S&P 500. The S&P 500 is something of a fantastic growth over the last couple of hundreds of years. And every good hedge fund manager who thinks that he should have a diversified portfolio usually also owns a piece of this S&P 500. So you can imagine once the S&P 500 has a Tesla stock and those hedge fund managers are actually buying the index then you will see that this stock is gaining momentum, okay? Let's have a look into the performance of the S&P 500. So over the last 10 years, which is absolutely crazy, okay? Just after the financial crisis, we were somewhere at 1,200 points. And uh, since then, we gained over 200%. Now, the most important part about the S&P 500 is not that you might think 200%, well, I could make more with Tesla stock or other stocks. Yes, but the S&P 500 has huge history, okay? It doesn't go so much volatile down like some specific stocks and it always went up over the last couple of years. We had the world wars, we had crazy bubbles we had the financial crisis we had so many things uh, political conflicts or other things like trade war but still over the long run and you know proven by history the s p 500 since 1927 went up 20 point six hundred thousand points up okay so this is a statement guys this is why the people love the s p 500 and that's why you know the people will still love the s p 500 in many many years to go now let's read through the requirements to become an s p 500 index followed company but before doing that make sure to click the join button below all my videos because there you have all the information to join our fantastic discord channel you can get even one-on-one with me so i would look forward to have you on board here to you know be part of this community guys and support the channel if you like if you are appreciating the daily content that's coming out here on my second channel on instagram everywhere make sure to show some love not only by that but obviously also subscribing and liking this video this is highly appreciated always let's talk about the conditions to get into the s p 500 and those are pretty straightforward to be eligible for the S&P 500 index inclusion, a company should be a US company. Have a market cap of at least $8.2 billion, which, you know, is checked because $400 billion is much more than $8.2 billion for Tesla. Then be highly liquid, which, you know, doesn't state 
what means liquid but you know we have a couple of billions as cash flow and continuously rising quarter over quarter so i guess this is also checked have a public float of at least 50 percent of all its shares outstanding because they don't want to have a company that is you know maybe 80 percent or 60 percent or 70 percent in the hands of insiders so they want to have that this can be easily traded on the stock markets and if you are looking up what kind of stocks are afloat for tesla stock that's pretty easy because as of today Tesla's float shares is 759.83 million. Tesla's total shares outstanding is 947.9. Tesla's float percentage of total shares outstanding is 80.16%. Uh, insider ownership is the percentage of shares that are owned by company insiders relative to the total shares outstanding. So this is also checked. Let's go back to the requirements. If you are looking into that, it's um, the most, and this is now the point where we thought it's maybe the critical point of why Tesla was not included earlier. We having the most recent quarter's earnings and the thumb of trailing four consecutive quarters. So maybe this was a problem, okay? Maybe this was a problem to have Tesla not into the S&P 500, okay? But however, there's some lot of speculation. So according to this, you know, we check all the boxes, but there's some obviously, you know, more subjective facts also to the decision. So for example, the committee can decide, well, the company is too overvalued. Maybe it's too volatile. Maybe we don't like the compensation of Elon Musk, right? All of these thoughts could be reason that Tesla was not included earlier. And also last quarter, right? There, there was Tesla fans, Tesla shareholders absolutely nuts about why we are not in the s p 500 okay after this crazy turnaround of being the car manufacturer you know which is a small part of tesla obviously that is always losing money to the only car company that is not losing money right in the look of the pandemic obviously right so as you can see i i just wish this achievement not only you know as a shareholder but also, you know, as the achievement for the hardworking work by Elon Musk and his team, uh, the financial, you know, joy that the stock brought so far for us, just this crazy good financial operative and manufacturing skills that the company showed us in the last couple of months, you know, this would be the cherry on the cake. And then, you know, I guess that this will be somewhere around 7th of December, and if we are looking a little bit further than that, then we have the record quarter. So it could be a quite interesting run for Tesla shares in the next couple of weeks. And I'm super excited. I'm in, I'm invested. So let's dive in the final conclusion of this vlog. So you have something to take away. So you see how important it is to get for Tesla stock into the S&P 500. It would be a huge milestone on the financial basis for Tesla stock. And I think that Elon Musk and all the others are very, very excited to this day. Now, I think that it will happen sometimes in the first week of December. So we have our countdown, how many days it's still to go. And I think that this will be a very significant event for the Tesla stock. It could be so significant like it was for the stock split, right? It could have been uh, a very, very strong sign back then a couple of weeks ago, but unfortunately the S&P 500 decided to not let Tesla in. But after the last quarter, the bombastic profitable quarter, there's just reasons running out for the S&P 500 committee to not bring Tesla into the index. Moreover, Tesla would be directly one of the top 10 most valuable companies in the S&P 500. And it would be just a historic, you know, move that Tesla, the company that was just bankrupt almost, 
a couple of years ago that they are now into the biggest and best index for US American companies. And we have learned about the S&P 500. We have learned about the conditions. So let me know what you think. You are convinced that Tesla stock go in in this quarter or do we have another bad news that it it's not going in so this will be the huge question let me know in the comments below and uh, subscribe if you are new to this channel